Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of May, I posted a video that Microsoft Edge is getting faster with Web UI 2.0. And that's because, as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft is rewriting many of the interface elements uh, in the Edge browser to load faster and be more responsive as part of its Web UI 2.0 internal project. Now, as I mentioned in that video, um, your hubs like Browse Essentials Hub and Favorites already have um, the Web UI 2 changes in the stable version. Unlike, as an example, your History Hub, which doesn't, and your Apps Hub, which doesn't. And you can actually see that those apps and history hubs without Web UI 2.0 load a little bit slower than favorites and browser essentials, which do have the change. Now, something else in the stable version is that with Web UI 2.0, although it's applied, you can see it has a little bit of a darker effect as well. We can see there's no acrylic that's applied to uh, those hubs. So both favorites and browser essentials don't have any acrylic effect which is that effect that gives the menu a kind of see-through or transparent effect. And if we head over to Edge Canary 128, which is the latest preview version, just to let you know now that Microsoft has furthered their progress regarding Web UI 2.0. And in Edge Canary, the acrylic, acrylic effect is now enabled by default in the different hubs in the browser. So here we can see with favorites, we can see that kind of see-through transparent effect. History also has Web UI 2.0, but it's also got the acrylic effect. Your apps, same thing. And your browser essentials, same thing. So that Web UI 2.0 with the acrylic effect now is starting to become more widely available. Uh, in the early preview version of Edge Canary 128. So as mentioned, it does seem that Microsoft is um, in different aspects and components and features of the browser and they are trying to get um, and make the browser a little bit faster in regards to those small changes. And as soon as these changes do become available in the stable version, because as mentioned, your history and your apps hub don't include those changes as yet in stable only favorites and browse essentials but without acrylic where in um where in the preview version as mentioned you kind of get the full package with web ui 2.0 and the acrylic effect so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one